Hello, my friends. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? It's a little bit of a gloomy day around here, but it's a great day to rip cards no matter what the weather is. Island bros. Island bro, yo. What's up? Tyler, Caleb, Nate, Neil, Buzz Buzz, Wong, Armando. 357, Alan, Derek. So, what's going on today? We've got a nice little variety. We've got a little bit of everything from 2019 to 2021. And gonna do something new that I've never opened before. Tops 3D. Looks pretty fun. I was hoping with this spread we could spread the teams out in a great way across almost every team possible. Was not gonna do one today because I've got my niece's birthday party, but I got all my work done and I've got like two hours. That's perfect. Just enough time to rip some cards, hang out with you guys. What's everybody got to say? Armando says, I was just at Walmart and four flippers waiting while the card guy was putting them on the shelves. Want to cuss them out? Really, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, that's what happens, Armando. I mean, yeah, they were flippers, but you were there too, you know. Everybody just wants cards. They just want their cards at cost or as, as close to cost as you can get them. But I feel you, man. I think everybody here feels you. It's disappointing, but hopefully you got some. Had some nice storms this morning. Yeah, we did too. Watermelon is crushing. We've been getting quite a bit of quite a bit of rain. This has been the most I've ever had to mow the lawn. The most times this year. It just it's been very rainy and good. It's good. Cause it's usually we don't get a lot of rain in the summer and the lawn dies out, doesn't look very good. And I like a nice green, well kept lawn. Fitzy, what's happening? Derek, love the hat. Oh yeah, me too. I've been wearing it around. This is my favorite hat. I love it. Oh, what else? So we are doing the afternoon break today. We're not gonna be doing afternoon breaks all the time, but it's better to do one in the afternoon than to not do one at all. At least that's my theory. So let's check it out real quick. What we got on the docket, we got a 2020 Chrome Hobby box, two guaranteed autos. Figured we'd go this route. Uh, this this stuff's creeping up in price, so I, there's no telling. Now we got Robert back. If Robert comes in and starts crushing like Eloy, whew, this stuff's gonna go through the roof. It, it, it's going to anyway. I could see this, because I went back, I wanted to get some 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 21 and do just all years of Chrome. But man, some of the older stuff, the 18 is really expensive. Even 2017, I don't think 2017 should be ex as expensive as it is, but we might have to, we might have to just kind of pick and choose what format to do a, a multi-year Chrome break, but I'm working on that. We're doing some blaster boxes. This is how we get involved at a more affordable price doing the blaster boxes. And you can still pull fire, man. The other day we got two parallels and one autograph out of one of these blaster boxes. That's crazy. So we're doing that little three peat, little, little three spread, the trifecta. This is the big boy. Got a nice jumbo box of update. Haven't done one of these in a long time, but now is the time with Vlad heating up so hot. Tatis coming back soon. Everything is green light for Tatis. So this will be a fun one to get into. We've got a gypsy box, two autos, tons of parallels. This stuff is like, this is my favorite product right now for the money, hands down. It's like you go to last year's, I think last year's is like 300 plus for a box of that. And there's more parallels in this, this year. And there's plenty of good rookies. And throwing one of these in for good measure, maybe we find who we're looking for. A little dice roll, a little dart throw. Last but not least, one of these. This is the Tops 3D, I've never opened one. We're gonna open one together. We're gonna have a good time doing it. What do you guys think? I kinda wanna use this boy right here. 
as a backdrop for the rolling. Yeah, 17 did have a decent rookie class, but we're talking, you know, we're talking Judge and Bellinger were, were the highlights, and both of the, like, Judge is good and great and everything, but he gets hurt so often, and Bellinger has been abysmal this year. Let's just real quick while we have a second look up some stats, because that's my favorite thing to do. So Bellinger this year, He's 25 years. He's still plenty young. He can figure it out. He's he's awesome. I'm one of my favorite players, but he's batting a cool 175 this year. And it's not like, oh, sample size, 216 plate appearances. So we're starting to get into the, the point where it's like, okay, well, what's going on here? Last year he batted 239. That's not good. And his on base is 269. He's He's horrible this year. He's not even a major league player this year. So 2017, I'm like, if 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 we're looking for, you know, some Bellinger and 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 Judge are our main guys, I'm not paying 400 plus bucks for a hobby box of that. Maybe out, maybe we can find some some cheaper like uh, black. Like it's hard to find once you get back a few years chrome is harder to find and the price is higher than i believe it deserves to be so unless we can find some cheaper stuff i don't know if we're gonna go back that far like 2018 is fire right now hot as fire because of otani plus plus all the other guys but otani's driving the force of the the 2018 just being crazy but we got to get in on that you know I, I mean guess in 2019 is out of control like super expensive stuff so it'll be a high roller break and I was even thinking about getting some jumbos involved. Like if we do, if we go all out for the 2021 Chrome and we get a jumbo 2021 Chrome, 2020, whatever. I mean, we could do a jumbo 2020, 2019, 2021, a little three, three jumbos. And then with the 2018, maybe we go a little cheaper, maybe like a, a blaster box or something, or cause even those are expensive. Or even a value pack, you can get a value pack for like 125 bucks. A value pack of 2018 Chrome, 125. So, it just like you want it to be awesome. Like I want the brakes to be awesome, but I still want them to be somewhat affordable if possible. It's hard to do. It's hard to juggle, but I try. So anyway, Bellinger, yeah, him, you know he's doing okay, or he's doing horrible. But what Judge this year, and then we'll get to rolling, guys. Judge is batting 278, which is good. He's got 23 home runs, 53 RBIs. Not the best, but his team's not that good this year. Or at least they're just, their OPS, the Yankees' OPS this year is not that great. Judge is on base is 366, so he's he's performing well. He's an all-star, so I can see that. only thing about Judge is he's 29, and I just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you guys feel what I'm saying here. I like Judge, he's cool, but I don't know if we should be paying ultimate dollar for the ceiling price of what the future of Judge may hold. Anyway, let's get to rolling. Here we go. Can you guys even see these? That one's a five. Seven, lucky seven. Otani Gypsy rookie's only like 18, raw. That's the thing, man, raw versus graded, but Gypsy's not super super expensive on the secondary market for singles all right come on over to the spreadsheet we're going to get these out of a to z this is on the website strikerbreaks.com go subscribe to the website it's free that way i can email you occasionally if we're doing a break or something i try to send out one email a month with a notification of a break Okay, three times for the teams. There's one, there's two, and three. We got the Marlins on top. Dropping them down. Going back to the team seven times. Let me turn this music down, I forgot, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, Six, and last one is seven. Marcus on top. There we 
go. Let's get these in A to Z. And here are your teams. Diamondbacks, Robert H. Braves, Jack H. Orioles, Chris P. Red Sox, Alex B. Cubs, Brandon K. White Sox, Robert C. Reds, Ray P. Indians, Sean T. Rockies, Thomas M. Tigers, Misty H. Astros, Lori O. Royals, Robert B. Angels, David R. Dodgers, Devin M. Marlins, Marcus F. Brewers, Steve B. Twins, Robert L. Mets, Francisco M. Yankees, Mitch S. Athletics, Kiri H. Phillies, Glenn S. Pirates, Hector S. Padres, Scott B. Giants, Derek R. Mariners, Susan B. Cardinals, Dominic L. Rays, Greg T. Rangers, James W. Blue Jays, Eric L. And Nationals, Nikolai M. Good luck, everybody. Okay, let me drop you a little link. SD, what's happening, man? And a printing. Just in case anybody wanted to know, I did not win poker last night. It was not a, not a great night. It was a small game. And the good hands that I got, nobody played. And the bluffs got called. So, <laughs> just not a good night. But I am in first place. At least I was till last night. I don't know what happened. Overall, the overall season, half season, I should say. All right, what do we start with? I kind of want to start with that 3D. I just want to, I got to see what it's all about. I got to see what the 3D is all about. See if it looks like the old school 3D design. What's everybody talking about? Kip says, first time turning into the live stream. Usually watch the videos. Well, welcome. I hope you have a good time in here. Kick your feet up. Have a good time. Maybe grab a glass of lemonade. All right, let's see what's going on here. I don't even know. Like, do you get in? Are there... Uh, the autographs or I don't know. I'll have to find out. Go Padres. Kyle Lewis is cheap right now. Yep. What's up, Booch? So I think I'm gonna make a public service announcement video about that last break. Uh, the the card packs. Because I found one other pack. And it it was weird because Oh, these are pretty cool because they were like, um, I've, I've ordered them from a whole bunch of different people. So I can't pinpoint where they're from. Otherwise I'd say, I thought they were from a certain place, but it wasn't. So be on the lookout, maybe a video coming out tomorrow about how to spot some fraudulent activity. I like these. They are, the 3D is, is pretty sweet. It looks a lot better than back in the day as it should. I don't know how well it shows up on, on the screen there, but we got a Corey Seeger. Yeah, it really looks like you could just reach in there. Well, let's check out the back. Okay, so it's just a normal, it's a normal design. Oh, that's sick. Casey Mize 3D. Like it. Oh, the Lou Bob Cup card. We're, I think we're getting a good pack here. Already. Look at that. They should have made the cup jump out at you. Like his front leg and his glove arm jump out at you. But the cup does not. Got Mad Max. Snell? Snell had a really good game the other day. He struck out a ton of batters. It's the best game as a Padre. And what do we have here? 
Oh, sick. So we've got some awesome insert here and it's Cronenworth. I like that. And a Pearson. I, I mean, this is a novelty, but it's still really cool. Over the quality is, is very high quality. Like I, I don't see any issues here. Obviously, being a thick cardstock like this, the corners are nice, the edges are nice. I don't see any scratches, no quality control issues. Very thick cardstock. Back looks good. I mean, these are these are pretty cool. I don't know. What do you guys think? What are you guys thinking? Yeah, run your fingers across. I'd do that, but I don't want to scratch it up. All right. Well, the next one I was kind of itching to open is this one. Let's get some good luck going here. Maybe we get a like a Vlad parallel or something. So you see, like the golds back to back. Sweep out the bad. Soak in the good. Yeah, Cronenworth is, he's pretty nasty. If you guys wouldn't mind slapping that like button, let's try to get to 100 likes real quick like. Real quick like. I think we can do it. Maybe we'll get a random person who's just clicking on what's up with the live streams and they see this and they go, hey, I remember when I used to collect baseball cards and we bring someone new into the community. It's good for it's good for the game, man. The more people you bring in, people realize how much fun it is. Get that nostalgic connection back to when they were growing up. Safe, clean, fun hobby to get involved with. Great community. Hi on Luciano. Oh yeah, he's awesome. He's awesome. Apologize if I miss anybody's chat today, guys. Also, for some reason, I can't hear. I missed the super. I missed a couple of super chats yesterday. I don't know why. I don't know how. I didn't. I didn't see or hear that they came through. Well, we had the biggest stream ever yesterday. I had 400 people in here live at one point. I think it was like 397, almost 400, which is the most I've ever had. So then the chat kind of gets going really fast. I can't see everything. Even the supers just fly by. And I've got a long chat open too, but it still flies by. Got a Cole Tucker. Brendan Rogers rookie. Austin Riley debut. Let's pull a sick gold out of here. Oh, good to hear. Good to hear, Alan. So, Adrian Sampson. He look at look at how. He he looks like just another day, not even really. I'm out there pitching in the majors in front of, you know, twenty thousand plus people, no emotion, straight faced. Gonna talk to Sampson. Neil Walker to one fifty. No, David, I couldn't figure out who I got it from. I thought I knew. I went back through, and it was different. The one, the, the place I thought I got it from, it was not them. So I don't know who it was, man. I don't know when I got it. I can't. So, no, I'm not going to be getting a refund. So I just put those cards in with the break cards that we opened from the first pack. There are actually a couple of decent cards in there. There's that pink judge. And a couple of rookies, uh, Prism, Refractor, stuff like that. So I'm just, I just put them in with the rest of the break cards and just chalk that up as a loss. There were two total packs. I did find one other pack. So I'm going to open that up and just make a, make a PSA for the collecting community. How do you get your name on the spreadsheet? You buy into the break, Baylor. And let me drop you a link. The best way to get in on the breaks is to become a slammer. So let me pin the link to the top. That's Patreon. It's just a way to support the channel. Helps me do what I do, what I love to do, making videos, 
Like that Griffey hunt was funded by months of slammers donating. And as a slammer, you get a notification of a break. So that's the benefit for you, and you're also supporting me and what I do. It's win-win. Turnbull. Pin that to the top. There we go. And I've got the next idea for the next chase video. Another one. I'm, they're all just expensive. I would never be able to do it without you guys. I wouldn't be able to do those chase videos, the gold Tatis and all the Griffey stuff. Would never be able to do it. Look at this. We got our boy. Paddock then, Vlad. So, Eric, you got yourself a Vlad rookie. Congratulations. Stand worthy card number one. You're on the board, baby. Yeah. And there we go. Oh, yeah, wit. I know, man. It was a bummer, but live and learn live and learn i'll tell you what i'm gonna be anytime i get any packs like that from now on i'm just gonna look at them real well before i before i put them away because i sometimes you know I, I accumulate stuff over time sometimes but you know i just assume if i'm getting it from a reputable source it's gonna be good not always the case jared walsh rookie loving this I love Jared Walsh. He's coming back soon, too. And since he was an update guy, you know, the, the rookies that are an update, if it's just an update rookie, a lot of times they don't have very many different kinds of rookies. So if they end up being something, you know, just like the Acuna Soto kind of deal, where they were an update. Now, Cooney has a little bit more because he was in Chrome, too. But Soto doesn't have that many rookie cards, which is why his cards should be more valuable. I almost bought another Soto Chrome rookie because I found one for a really good price, but I already bought two. It's like, huh. I don't like buying multiples, really, of the same guy. I like to spread it out just a little bit. Uh, they didn't take that big of a dive, Daniel. A little bit. A little bit, you know. Like, they'll come back. Because he's so young. Like, people... Look at Eloy, man. He comes back after an injury. People were down on him. Sell, sell, sell. You hear all the doomsdayers. He comes back in two home runs in two days. Here's our auto. Two separate days, two bombs. Pedro Avila. Going to the Padres. Going to Scott. Congratulations. Got an on-card auto, buddy. Um, Eric, you got the Blue Jays. So, boom. All right, you got the first standworthy card, man. Also, if anybody needs to double-check your teams or anything, strikerbreaks.com on the homepage, there's a button right there at the top. It's the buy-in list. You can just double-check what your teams are. So let's get we we'll get an SP out of here. Maybe we get some some Pete stuff. All the debuts. There's a Pete rookie. That's why one of the reasons why I love this. It's just there's so many between the rookie debuts and the regular rookies. There's not like this super high end. Like if you get a, Bla a Vlad parallel, that can be very high end. But and actually, uh, there there are a few. The Tatis debut gold, the Vlad debut gold, or any of the parallels. So that's why this stuff's starting to get more expensive. And I warned you guys. I've been warning you for a year. And it's finally at that point where it's getting more expensive. Like, these jumbo boxes are up to about 400 bucks now. And I'm worried they're going to be, like, 800 before before too long. I don't know how long that's going to take, but, you know, if you're looking at uh, 18 update a jumbo's i don't know what two grand or something it's 1800 so for 800 bucks for this doesn't seem that crazy it's 
especially with the Vlad and the Tatis stuff. Eloy's the first player in franchise history to have back-to-back -back five RBI games, says Manny. Manny always dropping the gravy. Love it. Yeah, dude, I looked, I was looking on, on like an aggregate website that has a bunch of sports news, and I saw that Eloy five, two home runs, five RBIs. I was like, why do they keep showing this? I thought that was yesterday. Did they not update their... No, it turns out he's that good. It was back-to-back. Got a Griffin Canning gold. So the golds are flowing at this point. That's good. Going to David. Another stamp. Lots of stamps, lots of golds. Marwin. Roger Maris, that's cool. Munson. Oh, this is numbered. We got a Pudge 150 stamp numbered. To 150, that's a sweet card. I like Pudge, man. He's my favorite catcher of all time for sure. A little biased because I'm a tiger, but... Tigers fan, that is. But everybody loves Putch. Very nice. Going to Texas. James. Oh, yeah. White Sox, even without Eloy and Robert, White Sox were a contender. Their pitching is so good. That's the thing that people don't even think about. Like, their offense is unbelievable. And their pitching is unbelievable. And now they just got two pieces back. They are definitely contenders. Vlad. And not only this year, they're contenders for a while, man. They got a nice young core. They got the reigning AL MVP. Man, they are crushing awesome pitchers. And at the deadline, they picked up some more pieces, you know, like pitching help. Well, we got the Vlad debut. That's good. That card uh, in a PSA 10 has ticked up almost. I, I don't know what it's at now. I'm thinking between 90 and 100. Last time I looked, around 90, I think it was going for. By now, maybe 100. So that card has gotten a lot more expensive in the last year. Half a year. Two months. That's why it's hard to pin down prices on this stuff. Like you say, oh, that's about $50 card. Like a couple months ago, that was about a... Dude, you could get PSA 10 Vlads a couple months ago, the Vlad debuts, for like 30 bucks a piece. That's how fast this stuff can change if you're not on top of it. Nolan, what's up, Nolan Film? Just tuning in. Awesome. I don't have a sleeve, giant sleeves for those giant cards. I got that Roger Clements in the background. No sleeve for it, though. Chavis. Will Smith, rookie. There's an Eloy debut. Eloy. I bet you his stuff, just from the last two games, has ticked up quite a bit. Got a rainbow foil, Mastron. Look at this. Vintage stock CJ Crone. To 99. Going to Robert. Robert L. Nice low number to hit right here. Stand worthy card. Pulled a Jeter Auto box topper out of Stadium Club. Really? That is sick. Look at this. We got a Jackie SP. Jackie Robinson SP. 55 is the last number on that. I was going to say, man, I have not seen that one before, and I don't know what the SP numbers versus the SSP numbers are. You, I mean, usually it would... Look at that guy. looks like he has purple hair. That's funny.
This one's going to the Dodgers. Devin. Hollis loves the cap. You can thank Derek for this one. I've been showing it off to everybody. That is a, that is a sweet card. It doesn't look real. Like those old time photos. Sometimes they don't even look real. Trout All-Star. Got a Paddock debut. Van Meter rookie. Glaber Cup. When does Stadium Club Chrome come out? I don't know, but you could check Beckett's website. Eloy Series 2 PSA 10 has a bid of 76 currently. That's a lot, man. His stuff has always been pretty reasonably priced. I had a, a Chrome Eloy Rookie purple, and it, it graded out PSA 10, and I ended up selling it for like, it's around 200 bucks. That's probably my one of my regret cards. It's a Kevin Biggio debut. I don't know what it's worth these days, but it was such a clean, beautiful card, you know? Here's a Pete debut. That's a good one. You guys digging these afternoon breaks? I was saying earlier, we're not gonna do them all the time. But it seems like people like them, man. We got we got a lot of people in it, afternoon breaks watching, people chilling at work or whatever, not, you know, <laughs> just wanting to zone out at work. Springer. Oh, this is a good one. Austin Riley, rookie debut. Rainbow foil. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that a stand-worthy card? Not really sure. I'm going to top load it, set it to the side. Maybe someone can do a little bit of research on that one. But that's pretty close to standworthy for Jack. I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> Just put it on a stand striker. You know you want to. Okay, fine. Fine. I like it. The light glistening off of it. Well, we have a hit. Uh, Bryce is stuck to the hit. Dale Murphy. People giving me crap that I didn't put Dale Murphy in the good card pile the other day. I apologize. There's only, there's only so much room in the good card pile. But a lot of Dale Murphy fans out there. A lot of them. We got back-to-back -back Jack Jacks. Back-to-back -back Jacks for Jack. Dale Murphy, good card pile. Not just good card pile, stand worthy. Stand worthy pile, stage worthy. Another Pete. Tops Chrome's like August 20th, I want to say. Go to the Beckett website. You can find out all the release dates. Just type in 2021 baseball card release dates in Google, and you'll find the whole list. And then bookmark it, because it's something you'll want to go back to all the time. Kevin Biggio, rookie. We got a Hanser Alberto. Gold. Also, Sky Bolt. Amazing name. Average to below average player. I wouldn't say below. I, I don't know. I can't make that claim without looking at his stats. But I do know that his name is amazing.
Chavis. Here's a Carter rookie. He's going to be getting some more run with all the big boys out of town. I think this is picking up a little bit. I've heard Carter prices are picking up a little bit. What's up, Clinton? Brian says, two-time MVP not in the Hall of Fame, Dale Murphy. Yastrzemski, rookie. Ugh. Jose Alvarado, rainbow foil. He's a Ted Williams. And a Roy Halladay SP. Rest in peace for the Blue Jays. It's a 55 regular SP. I wish from year to year they'd have the same number on the back, like the last number, as the SP, SSP, SSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
It's not a good deal for you guys. Brennan Rogers, rookie. That's another decent rainbow foil. Got a little ding on that bottom corner, but it's a pretty nice card. Jason, go type in a Google search of upcoming baseball card releases. And there's a Beckett website that has all of them. Another Pete. Austin Riley rookie. That's the actual rookie. Those two cards are very similar. I would have liked a slightly different pose maybe. I mean, this one's zoomed in a little bit more, so I get it. It's not the worst. Couple more fatties. Missed a Vladdy home run. Yeah, it's in a good card pile, I think. Either way, it'll be taken care of. I gotta sort them all again anyway. I like I have to go through all these cards again like two more times. So if there's good cards, I almost always find them, take care of them. Another Riley debut. Edwin Encarnacion, poor guy, just went from being like one of the best players to completely out of the league. How old is he? 80. Oh, he's old. He's an old man. It's not that old. You can play till you're 40 something in the bigs. That's a good card. The Chavis 150 stamp. Rookie. Going to the Red Sox. I almost want to put that on a stand too. I'm gonna put that up there with, with Austin Riley because it's kinda, it's close. They're in the same realm. Although the rainbow foil cards are more desirable than the stamped cards. We're gonna go like that. Cause I don't wanna run, we're already filling up the stands. Tony Gwynn, oh look at this. We got a low number. Oh baby, a bonus, bonus autograph out of here. 10 of 25 for Arenado. That is sexy. Look at that. Dude, we are hitting the jackpot with these lately, aren't we? Yesterday we hit one too. It wasn't the patch, but it was that you know who. And I might have gotten something happened to my video. I don't know what it was from, but my, my video from yesterday is not, it, it got like demonetized. Don't know why. Maybe it was that guy who I said, you're not allowed here anymore. Maybe he like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But they didn't like yesterday. I don't know if it was because of this guy or if it was because, like, they're so sensitive on this freaking platform. That's why I'm a little bit careful about what I say, speaking code sometimes. Um, I don't know. Who, who got that, by the way? Thomas got that. Let's give that one more look, man. 10 of 25. He's got a little loose string right there, but that's kind of, I don't know, you can just clip that right off or something, I imagine. Check the back of the Gwen. The Gwen is nothing special. There's nothing on there. I can usually tell. It's, if it's going to be numbered, it's going to have a, it's going to be black or have a stamp or something. One more fatty. What did I do yesterday? I don't know. Whatever I did, they didn't like it. And they demonetized my video and it's like under review. If you say anything even remotely questionable and they will take everything from you, which is why, which is why guys, Right now, I'm gonna drop a link. Give me a follow on Twitch, please. It's a backup, just in case. I'm streaming live on Twitch and Facebook and YouTube all at once right now. So if you can click that link and give me a follow on, on Twitch, it's a backup just in case they, for some reason, decide to take everything, all of my hard work away. 
Rookie debut, Pete. Willie. We got a Gary Sanchez 150 stamp. Chris Paddock, and here is our relic, Major League Material, Bregman. Going to the Astros. Going to Lori. Congratulations, Lori. Got to get a thicky for this one. Let's see. Oh, that one's not quite thick enough. Got to have a 79 point for this. There we go. I think my notifications are off. Oh, I did turn them off because I was making a video, I think. I got to turn those back on. I, I, nothing's popping up right there, which is not fun because I use that to see what's going on. Another Tatis debut. What a box, man. What a box. Two Tatis debuts, two Vlads. Can't get any better, and we got a case hit auto. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah, we're putting him with his buddy, his old pal, other Tatis debut. Home run derby, Vlad. We haven't even done the silver packs yet. Let's go. This one feels juicy. Island Bro says, a few years ago, my neighbor and I went to Target, bought those Fairfield boxes with guaranteed auto, and pulled a Stan auto from Leaf. Nice. Stan Mu Musial. Anything thick in here? No. I love the looks of these, though. Yelich, Willie Mays, <laughs> Joey Gallo, and Trent Thornton. Number two. You got a Chrome Tatis debut? I like those, man. I was thinking about getting some more Chrome update, but man, that stuff's gotten pretty expensive too. It's just the name of the game. If you want good cards, you got to pay good money. Oh, that's nice. And we got a thicky in here. This is a great silver pack. We got the Alloy. Take care of that in just a minute. We got to see what the rest of these are. Duplantier. Corbin Martin. And... A black Griffin Canning. I'm pretty sure you can get Tatis in here. It's in the update. You can't get the Tatis version of this in Series 2. I believe it's in the update. Which is another reason to open up Jumbo Jumbos. Because that card's pretty pricey. I was looking at that. I'd love a parallel version of that. Parallel Tatis box topper or silver pack. But the Griffin Canning is numbered to 199. Going to the Angels, David. Of course, we got the Alloy. Going to Robert. Yeah, they're saying Tatis could go to uh, center. Which is like, whatever. <laughs> I don't care at all where he goes, you know, where he plays, as long as he plays. Whatever will help his war. And usually a center fielder can accumulate some war, but shortstops can too, so it just kind of depends. Whatever. A box loader is Mr. Yelich. She's got a little bend to her. But I, there's no crease or anything. All right, let's keep moving. That one took a little while. <laughs> let's do uh, let's do this series two. Bang this one out. Hopefully, we get a parallel of the special manufactured relic because I almost feel like the regular manufactured relic, unless it's someone sweet, isn't even worth a top loader. Alejandro. Got a gold. And our gold is Hunter Dozier. Joey Bart. Let's 
selling cards on COMC. I've heard bad things. Just like, but I, I can't say one. I have never done it. I prefer eBay. It's just less work if you send all your stuff to COMC, which can be beneficial. All right, see you later, Floyd fan. Got the green kill off, nice. Yeah, these blasters are very solid. All of, all of the retail formats pretty much are very solid for this series too. But every format is like the jumbos for the price, man. This series too is great. That's why I keep including it in the breaks. It's just so cheap, and you get so many cards and parallels and everything. We got Joy Bart rookie Chrome. Greg Maddox. Numbered, please? No, not numbered. Going to Jack. Jack's getting some cards today. Shinders cards. Um, I don't know what one the best is, but I'm a big Cronenworth fan. I also like Jazz and Key Brian. Jazz keeps going down, man. I don't know if he's soft or what. I don't know what his deal is. He keeps going down. He needs to put some games together. Chapman home run card. I think if Jazz gave us a full season, easily 2020 guy, maybe... 25 25 maybe 30 30 if he like you know grows up into his body a little bit more and gets some more muscle mass i think jazz could be a 30 30 guy so that, i'm big on jazz also cool name helps also he's got quite a personality so he's kind of checking all those similar boxes to tatis except he's not as young and he's not as good <laughs> but he's he is good though We got a, oh man, we got an orange in here. Sweet. This blaster's been very good. Here we go, Devin Williams Cup. To 299. Definitely worth the money. Anybody wondering, like, hey, what should I buy? I got I got like 25 bucks. A series two blaster box. It's enjoyable. It's an enjoyable, affordable open. And it's flagship, so like the rookies that you do get, if they end up making it, those are the want those are the ones that people want. Gotta take this stack of base off. Alright, what's next? Let's do Kind of in the mood to see these Bowmans. Let's switch it up a bit. Go into Bowman. This is a, a wide swath in this break, man. I, I hope everybody gets some good cards. Should. So many, many teams, many cards. Look at the stage. The stage is already almost full, and we're not even we're not even to the good stuff yet. I'm gonna have to start combining cards. Twenty twenty one Bowman. The manufactured patch is a Walmart blue parallel, not numbered though. I thought it looked funny with that blue. Thanks for the shout out, Evan. That's cool. I'm glad it's parallel. <laughs> okay. A nice fuchsia parallel off the get go. Going to Texas. James. I think it's already time to start combining. Okay, we gotta we gotta take Jared Walsh off and put him over here. We're gonna put Bregman off to the side right there. 
put, we're going to combine these two. We're going to combine these two. Now we got a little bit, a little bit more room to work with. That's always a good sign. Combining cards, taking them off of the stage. Exit stage left, make room for more. That's the goal. CJ Abrams, futurist. Sick of not getting what, Vader? Are we talking about series two or this? Oh, we got a dude. It's just, these, these blasters are crazy. We got an atomic. We got two parallels already to 150. This is the talent pipeline for the twins. Robert L on the board. Look at that. Let's go. Bowman parallels. Money. That's right, Diane. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with it. It's the best problem in the world to have. See this little green back. What is that? Okay. Casey Mize. Chrome rookie. Bowman throwback. Got a first, Alexander Ramirez. Eric pulled a Bryce Harper DH debut sticker auto out of 10 out of a Target Giant box. Sweet. Austin Martin paper. Blue Jays hit. Another Eric hit. Eric, man. Well, the Blue Jays usually do crush. I think I'm just going to have to put him on, a st on the stand with Vlad because too many good cards today. Jake Vogel paper. <laughs> Let's go into 2020. Let's keep this party going. No, no, William. Oh, made from them? I don't know if I'd want to see his dirty face. Five, first live break. Love your show. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. It is a fun time, dude. I'm telling you. Shirt and apostle. First, not too bad. I don't know, man. I like this 2020 design, the chrome with the white. I like this year's design, too. They've been knocking it out of the park. Can call them the K-word stands. Like, have a stand just for the K-word cards. That are, they're all upside down in the, in the corner. And afterwards, they ritualistically get thrown into a burning fire. We're looking for a Jason Dominguez and a Bobby Witt Jr. Let's go. Right here. Sean Murphy. Sam Huff first. Bo Lewis. Cincinnati going to win the World Series this year, says Marty. I love your enthusiasm. They need some more pitching, though, in order to win the World Series. But they do have a pretty juicy offense. 
especially with Votto smashing home runs, having like a comeback career year, like he's going to seal his MV or his uh, Hall of Fame chances this year, I think. Dude, Votto is, he's having the best year he's had in a while. Real quick, got to look. So Votto was already on the road to the Hall. He's got 62.5 career war. This year, he's got 23 home runs, the most home runs he's had since 2017. 68 RBIs. Yeah. He's having a good year. All over the place, Jake. Get him from a reputable source if possible. But Blowout, um, Steel City, Dave and Adams. You can get them from eBay as long as the person's got good feedback. Amazon, be careful on Amazon. Uh, also, be, care be careful on Mercari. There's other websites, too. I just can't remember all the names of them. It's different sites. Baseball card stuff, you know. Uh, let's go Gypsy. Let's do a little good luck soak here. Let's get a cycle of sea legs going. I'm going to put them all face forward. A whole cycle of sea legs for sweeping away bad luck with toupee. A toupee sweep. Come on, baby. Let's get a 101. Haven't seen a 101 out of Gypsy, but by George, I want to. Oh, you know what? I forgot to use Billy. Billy's just been sitting here the last two days. I wanted to use him. We're going to use Billy. Billy? I'm gonna unsheath you and just get him ready. Look at here he is. Should I just set him right here so I don't forget? Padding those stats, that's right. JT, no shot. You don't think Vado's a Hall of Famer? I think he's gonna be playing for a couple more years and he's gonna get into the high 60s for his career war. Maybe, maybe low 70s. If you look at his accolades, so he's he's an M okay, let me just, there's a lot of them. He's an MVP, a six time All Star, a Gold Glover, Rookie of the Year 2. He's been in the MVP votes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. He got MVP 2 as recently in 2017. Dude, he's, he's really good. He just doesn't get the love. Let's open this up first. Yeah, I have done pretty well with Gypsy. Uh, we get a lot of these parallels. That gold one we got the other day was awesome, that gold Soto. We got Freeman, Springer, and our parallel is Stanton. Stanworthy. Going to Mitch. How about that Joe Adele black and white we got that one day to 150? The little uh, mini Joe Adele to number to 50 black and white auto. That thing was nasty. No, Evan, there are there are no chrome bazookas. Yeah, career war 62.5 for Vado. So I... If he plays, I, there's no reason why he won't play a couple more years. He's still very good. And you have to. He started when he was 23. That's the, that's the thing is, like, he started a little late. If he would have started when he was, like, 20, man, three extra years, guaranteed Hall of Famer. He's almost guaranteed right now. There are, there are plenty of Hall of Famers that have around a 60 war. And these days, that's, like, you... They just use war, mostly, to figure out how good you are. All right, let me know if I miss anything, guys. I'm going to try to... There's so many weird little parallels in here. Okay, Mount Castle. Turquoise Flaherty. Parallel number one. Going to the Cardinals out of 199. Dominic. Gonna have to start a pair.
parallel stand right there behind old Billy 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 Club. Billy Bill Hook, the machete. Madrigal. Ian Anderson. Oh boy, that's a, I believe that's a case hit. No, 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 sorry. I thought that was a I thought that was a signed insert. It just is so wild in the background. Not a case hit. My bad, but that's a sweet one. Jordan. I like Jordan's signature. I thought that was a tarot card at first. I, I do like, man, I like these autos. Going to Houston, Lori. Congrats, Lori. Got a couple stand worthy cards today already. Let's keep it going. Gonna give these a quick bazooka check. I need to check them first. That was working out well the other day. Just turn them. Yeah, that's what I thought it was one of these. The Jordan. How much are these packs? A box of this right now is about 170, 180 bucks. Very affordable compared to like relatively speaking especially you get two guaranteed on card autos per box and the box loaders and all the parallels you get and the, like the good rookie class and it's just tops did a great job stepping it up this year because they're they increased production not by like a ton like 15 percent but they made more parallels and they made it but they made all the stuff seem feel like it's got a better value, more stuff in it. Like you're getting more stuff, except for series one. Series one, they did not do that and it didn't feel as good. But people like the rookie class in series one. Carlson, Mountcastle, you know, those guys. Carlson, and especially, there's Mr. Votto. Cool, Trout, Trout tarot card. Yeah, Gypsy does feel old school. It's perfect for them to come out with Gypsy and then shortly after Chrome because you're you're getting best of both worlds. We've also got um, Allen and Ginter coming out soon, which is also one of these old school feel feels feeling kind of cards. And you get three hits per box in the Allen and Ginter. So I know there's a, a niche following for that. There's a Key Brian. So we're going to do some of that for sure. There's going to be 31 spots because they have a bunch of cards that are not ba like baseball related. There'll be a, se a separate spot. If, if we do just Allen Ginter, I'll have the 31st spot. But if we don't, then odds are I'll just disperse the non-team cards to other people. It's pretty good. Tyler Stevenson, Indigo. One's going to where are the red Ray. Ray's got that one to 250. Billy is kind of in the way. Will I get Prism? Yes, sir. Got some Prism FOTLs on the way. That's going to be fun. Tavares. Going to Texas, James. Congratulations, James. Oh, I didn't look at the back. Oh, I did look at the back first. That's right. Otani. Here we go. We got a script switch. Script swap, is that what I was calling it? Script flip is what I was calling it. 
for Ichiro. So this is an extra good card because that's a high number. That's pretty rare. Number 316. So 301 through 320 are high numbers. So that's a parallel of an SP. Space. Oh, yeah. I said we were going to start stacking parallels on top of parallels for this release. So that's what we got to do because there's <laughs> we got a lot more coming. We got a whole box. There's going to be at least two, three stand worthy cards from the Chrome box coming up. And if we get lucky out of a 2019 pack, we've got another, maybe one or two or three or four stand worthy. Not, there's like four possibilities of players. Yeah, his signature is strange. At least he's putting some effort into it, you know? It's not like that one yesterday where that dude just... I, I can't remember what his name was even, but I don't like it that much. That's a good point, William. William says, Tavares is the Cedric Mullins of 2019. Signed everything. Yeah, he's at, I, he, maybe he ends up being good like Cedric. Steve, there's a link pinned to the top if you want to get in on the Patreon action. That's the best way to get in on the breaks, brother. See if we got any bazookas. Here's a bone rookie. And we've got a blue Segura to 150. Going to the Phillies. Glenn. Kirloff, Mize, missing nameplate for Monte Harrison, I'm going to Miami, Marcus, congratulations my friend. Come on with his buddies. Okay. Billy is going to get involved. Uh, not with this. Not with this. With the next one. Billy doesn't really do a good job on the packs. He wants to cut you open. Come on, we're looking for a Tatis rookie and a Vlad and a Pete and an Eloy and what is that? Oh, Jeffrey Springs. It's golden here. Looking for Peter O'Brien. Who is the gold? Buck. Buck Farmer Gold to 2019, going to the Tigers. Misty, Clemente, No luck on that one. But the grand finale. Whooshing. Here we go. Billy's favorite thing to open is chrome. 
It just slides in so nice. All right, let's do it. Looking for a couple of autos. Let's get a big one. We got the Arosa Raina last time. That was a purple one. Purple Randy. It was a sweet one. Oh, yeah, 357. I did. I got one. I haven't opened it. I think I'm just going to keep it sealed. Ozzy, just part of the PC, you know, a little collection piece. It's actually a really nice looking prism. Every time I see him, I just love those prism cards. Oh, you'll have to go back and watch, Evan. Freshman Flash, Gavin Lux. And the laser, who apparently needs special substances to help him. Hey, Robert, how's it going? Likes equals luck. That's right, Arno. Let's go. Yeah, we got to get up there. 148 likes, 300 people watch. I think we can get to 200. If you guys want to be part of history, slap the like. Let's get to 200. Jake Rogers Refractor. Rookie Refractor. Ted Williams die cut. Yeah, Nick, this will be available. This will upload as soon as this is done. Sometimes it takes a little while to process. Here we go, Luis Robert. We got a good rookie. Going to Robert C. Congratulations. More cards going on the stands. Filling up the stage. We're going to have to put all the good rookies on one stand, I think. I got a few more here, but we're going to need them for autographs. And a big parallel hit that's going to be coming out of here. Yeah, Bo, Robert, Jordan, Lux, Randy, Grisham. One of those guys. Big parallel. How about a Shohei or a Trout? Nice Shohei prism. How would that? How would that look? Hot right now. Are you trolling, Thomas, or are you a child? Because if you're trolling, I might have to ban you. But if you're a child, then I understand. Aquino. <laughs> I'm not going to ban you for that. I'm just kidding. But any more of that, maybe I will. I have a lightning fast ban hammer. Any, any just little bit of like, mm, I'm like the cut of your jib, gone forever. Kino. <laughs> we got a green. That's why the chat is so good. Cause you, you just, you see a weed and you pull it up right away. You don't let that thing gain roots. Glaber. Got to let the flowers grow, not the weeds. A green Glaber, numbered to 99. Beautiful. Going to Mitch. Oh, okay, cool, Thomas. Understandable, my friend. Uh, yeah. We got, like... Thousands of dollars, like over a thousand dollars worth of cards in here. So you got to buy in to get involved. I wish I could just, I wish I had infinite money. I could just give all the cards away, but alas, that is not the case. Cunha, but what I can give you is a good time. I can give everybody a good time. Maybe a couple laughs. I like this card. The Pete Refractor Cup. 
I'm putting them on a stand. So I like it a lot. The cup cards, man. It's all about, it's all because of that 1990 Ken Griffey Jr. cup card. That's what it's all about. And that's every time I see one and it's a good player and it's a parallel, especially. Going with the parallels, I guess. We'll keep, we'll keep Glaber up top because he's a legit one. Legit numbered card. But I'm pretty sure Francisco, you know, we'll put him here for now. Just so you can get a good look at him. Let's let the light glisten. Refract, if you will. I am going to be doing another treasure chest soon. So we'll be doing we'll be doing a giveaway soon, guys. We got another parallel. This is good. I bet you this is the auto, you guys. Look how thick that dog is. Come on, baby. We got a blue. Keon Wong. Blue. Autograph. Numbered to 150. Going to the Giants. Derek, congratulations. You got, you got Mr. Wong in a bunting pose. He's going to move that runner over. Take one for the team, you know what I'm saying? He's going to get that runner into scoring position. He's going to sacrifice. Jordan. This is a good box. We've got a parallel auto. We've got the Lou Bob already. The Pete Refractor Cup. I wonder if this stuff is getting more expensive. Boom. Let's get that bow now. Let's get that bow. Greenskeeper. Did I miss a super from you, my friend? How did I miss that? It didn't. Oh, there it is. I was just too early. Sup, Slam Lords. Good luck to everyone. Smash that like. Thank you, Greenskeeper. You're the man. Appreciate that super, man. Good vibes. Good vibes. Cool, here's a Bryce Refractor. Who's got the... Phillies, Glenn's got the Phillies. Man, they just look so clean. Something about this design just looks so clean. It's the, the, pair, the Refractors especially. Gonsolin. Correa Prism. And Goldie. Uh, Melissa, here's the thing. I can't tell you because I don't know. I don't know the condition. Good condition. If it's not in mint condition, I don't know. I don't know. Even if it's in mint condition, is it in gem mint condition? We only know that after we send it away to the grade shop because it could come back in eight and you could just be like, no. But 60 is not a bad price. I mean, it just, I hesitate to buy raw cards in a lot of situations. If I'm, especially, I can't give advice on something I, I can't see. And even then, I would have to do some research and compare and contrast and see what the prices are now as opposed to then and compare them to other players in the same kind of category. It's a lot of work in figuring out if something's a good deal. Looked mint from a picture, right? scratches on there that you can't see from the picture OC can't really tell if it's OC or not from you know like how can you is that OC I don't, it's hard to tell on these cards bruised dar autograph going to the twins twins actually got a couple cards today don't they Robert a couple twins cards today good this was the goal man spreading those teams around I think I think everybody, most people are going to have some decent cards in their stacks today. Let's put that there. But usually, like I can always tell how in the initial part of the sorting process, when I put all the top loaded cards down first, is it like a base? And then I put the sleeved cards on top. I can get a good idea of like everybody's spread. 
And I bet you this one's gonna be a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gretarol is legit. Favorite player is Tatis. What up, Kruger Breaks? You open a case of 2020 cells and an average of 14 a pack. Oh, there's Bo. Hi, Bo. You snuck up on me. I didn't know you were here. Well, it's good to see you. About time for another case of top loaders. Man, I fly through these things. I wonder if I'm gonna get to the point where I have to buy a pallet full of them. Go up there with your buddies. Where are the rest of your buddies? They're, they're behind here. Bo Show! Eric is getting them all today. Correa Refractor. Leoncio, I couldn't tell you that, man. HGA, don't I don't I don't dabble in anything other than PSA. Here's a Randy. Randy, looking good there, my man. Looking good. Lux just hasn't shown he belongs in the show yet. Yeah, he's had these little streaks of, of looking pretty good and then not looking so good. Soto, it's a Kyle Lewis freshman flash. That's like the only guy we're missing, isn't it? Uh, the Lux true, the Lewis true, and I think that's it. Adbert refractor. Got a lot of refractors and prisms out of this box. Two more packs left. Annoying Dude Gaming, you don't sign up to get free cards. That'd be sweet though, wouldn't it? Can I sign up to get free cards from you? And if so, go ahead and let me know what that ad email address is or website. Because I want some free cards. Louise Robert. So is everybody else here. Let's let's. Why don't you start up a channel, Annoying Dude Gaming, where you offer free baseball cards to everybody, and we'll all sign up right now, man. Seriously, I'll let you drop a link. Let's do it. We're all in. Andrelton. The last card. The vet, you're gonna leave us. You're gonna leave us like this. Go upside down. I'm just gonna toss you over there. Well, guys, look at. There's room now for Jared Walsh over here in the corner. Eh? All right. Starting off with Pete, the Refractor Cup card. We got a bruised R auto. Look at this stack. Luis Robert, Randy Rosarena. We got a Glaber to 99. The straight up Lou Bob. Jordan. Bo. We got a lot of them out of there, man. I love these. Keon Wong. That's a blue to 150. We got the Tavares Auto. Jared Walsh, rookie. Devin Williams Orange Cup card to 299. Here's a Chrome Stanton. Those box toppers to 150. Box of loaders. Whatever. Atomic to 150. We end up with two parallels out of that blaster box. Foscu to 299. Look at this stack of parallels. We got the Monte, Segura, and that one is the 150. The Ichiro. So this is the SP version with the script flip. And Stevenson to 250. Flaherty to 199. There's a Jordan. We got a Bregman relic. Dude, look at that. That is a jewel. A little case hit action Nolan. Swato to 
to 25. How many Tatis debuts do you think we got out of one box? Two. Lucky. Look at this stack of little Blue Jays. The Martin and two Vlads. Another SP out of that box, Roy Halladay. We got two of them, Jackie and Roy Halladay. I love that Jackie, man. That's sick. That is a gorgeous card. A couple of these guys. This is the, the blue unnumbered Maddox. And we got everybody's favorite player, Dale Murphy. Austin Riley. This is a rookie debut rainbow foil. The Chavis 150 stamp. Straight up rookie. CJ Crone. That is a vintage stock to 99. We did get one Vlad debut along with the two regular rookies. Pulled a Pudge to one, uh, 150 to 150. Number to 150. Family business. Avila Auto. And a couple more. We got the Elo out of a silver pack rookie. And a Griffin, Can Griffin Canning numbered to 199. What a great day of breaking, man. We got, look at this stack. This is just like the initial top-loaded standworthy cards. That is a nice, that's a nice stack right there, guys. Digging it for sure. Don't know when we're going to do it next. Check out strikerbreaks.com. Patreon link is at the top. And just if you're a slammer, make sure you have that Patreon app so you get those notifications. And when your subscription end runs out, for this last month, make sure you re-up because you won't automatically get re-upped. You have to manually go in and change it to the new price point. This was fun, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later.